Welcome to another episode of Arroyo on Tour. Last time we took you to Trenton on Sea. This time we take you to the Cromer Pier. We watch some seals. We have some beautiful sunsets again. We eat the fish and chips for the first time in England. And we end this episode with the visits of a former rabbit farm where these animals are bred for their meat and fur. But to see this all, we have a lot of driving to do. So this morning we left Trinden on Sea and drove further north to the places Great Yarmouth, Horsey Gap and Walcott. But first we went to Horsey Gap to spot seals because we had heard that you can find them there on the beach. So we were curious whether we should see seals there or not. You can get to Horsey Gap or Horsey Beach via a road that leads to a small car park. From this car park there is a dune crossing with loose sand to the beach. And of course it is fun to park your car across those overland cars. Grey seals can regularly be seen on horses' beaches, especially in the winter months. Yet, here we are in summer. We really have to look for seals and be patient to find them. And then the waiters rewarded with swimming animals in the sea. On our way to Cromer, we were surprised to see this windmill. Since we are from the Netherlands, we are a little bit interested in windmills. By searching on the internet, I found out it's a famous landmark on the North Folk landscape, this third brick tower mill. In the app Camp for Night, we read that you can park here with your camper and stay overnight. We went to investigate on the spot and read that spending the night with your camper van on this spot is not allowed, but that the authorities do not know how to enforce this. So we drove on, looking for another car park where spending the night is allowed. We felt a little bit sad for a moment because it was a very beautiful location with a view to the sea and beach. While driving through this part of England, the walls stacked with stones did catch our attention. Here an impression of the individual stones stacked in different shapes and ways without addition of cement or mortar. Cycle paths are very well known in our country, but here we discovered a cyclist on a main road. During our trip we would discover that there is also a lot of cycling here in this country. But before we go any further, it is time for lunch. This time at a car park with a view of the sea and don't forget to buy a ticket at the pay machine when you park. Very special to see a bouquet of flowers in memory of a person on a bench overlooking the sea. This is a custom that we are not that familiar with, but it felt very special when we saw this. These fuchsias are also known in the Netherlands 
but not this large size and growing outside. We wanted to visit the town of Kromer, because we had heard that it was a very beautiful place. So we parked our van, bought some groceries and went to the center of the town to visit the pier. After a visit to the pier in Kromer, with this beautiful weather, via the stairs back along the park with beautiful flowers, we went on our way to our next overnight parking in Salthaus. Salt House is a regular parking lot where you may stand overnight or at least it does not say that you may not stand the night here. What is unusual for us as Dutch is that the beach is not a sandy beach but a bad beach. After a good night rest, we went to wells next to the sea. And also in this area, many houses with a kind of mosaic walls of pebbles. We ordered some fish and chips. We had to wait a while. Thank you. It was very tasty, but boy, what a big portions. We both couldn't finish these big meals. After our visit to Wells Next to Sea, we went on tour again and now to the place Whitby. We arrived in Whitby in the evening and found a nice parking with a possibility to spend the night over there, high on the mountain with a view over the place Whitby and the North Sea.
by the Whitby Abbey we found this garden. The planting in this garden reflects the variety of shrubs, grasses and flowers which one might expect to see in the moorland areas which surround Whitby. Plants like heathers, water iris, moorland grasses, thymes, Spanish grass and juniper. From here our journey goes on and we continue our tour to the town of Tedford. Tedford Warren is a fortified lodge constructed about 1400 by the prior of Tedford to provide accommodation and protection for gamekeepers. During the 18th and 19th centuries, this area of Breckland was heavily used for managing rabbit warrens and the lodge was taken over by local rabbit warreners. And here ends our episode. Next time take you to a beautiful English bridges and to the island on the coast where the puffins breed. We will look at some great steel horses and visit the town of Chester. Thank you for watching and we hope you liked this episode as we did and hope to see you next time. And if you liked it, subscribe and give us a thumbs up.